Reverend Paul Maderi from Naivasha, Trinity United Methodist Church. And uh, I am glad to say that this morning, I want to thank God for the work that, is, that has been completed in the help of the Almond United Methodist Church. The residents of Naivasha usually depend on water that has been drilled. And our borehole water is actually um, 5.5 fluoride level against um, 1.5 a fluoride level that is recommended by the WHO and therefore it is of a health hazard and it's not safe for anyone, not safe for the children, not safe for the elderly and not even safe for the working class because eventually it affects bone marrow, it affects the brains, uh, it affects the teeth. But we have so many young people, both boys and girls, whose teeth are brown and that one brings their low esteem down. Um, people in our community cannot even compete in some um, employment like the police because their bones are considered to be weak. This water from boreholes transported to homes uh, using donkeys. So it is, the, the handling is also not very clean and therefore our people would suffer from uh, waterborne diseases and going to the hospital all the time. When I shared our concern with Scott Smith, he said that he was going to help us work out to have um, an RO machine uh, that will help us remove the excess fluoride. And so it has happened through the First United Methodist Church and Olmod, we have fresh water. And the community here in Naivasha, both the school that is in our church compound, the neighbors, the church members are very happy um, because we do not have private entities uh, offering people water that is already purified, clean, fresh, and, and safe to drink. And therefore, the ministry and the mission work and the, uh, and the gospel of Christ has been seen by the community in a very different way.